Hey everyone, Michael O'Brien here. Today we're gonna to discuss the importance of investing your money back into your act rather than blowing it on stupid stuff. Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of Advice for Magicians where my job is to make you the best possible entertainers that you can be. Now in today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about financial responsibility. I know, I know, that's not necessarily something that comes to the forefront of your mind when you think of a magician, right? But it is really, really important that you're always constantly working on your act, you're always constantly building your act up to be the best that it can be. And oftentimes when we start working professionally, we find ourselves in this situation where we're going out, we're starting to book shows, and we're making some money, and now the temptation starts settling in. What do I spend my money on, right? Do I spend my money on buying a brand new video game or do I go out to a fancy dinner, etc., etc. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the importance of being money smart when it comes to investing in your act. Hey everyone, so sorry for the interruption. I just wanted to take a quick minute to thank the newest members of The Mob for joining. Thank you guys so much. It's because of you that I'm truly able to keep this channel going. You're gonna get early access to videos, you're gonna access tutorials, lectures, and even get one-on-one -on -one access with me where you can pick my brain about anything that you like. If you guys would like to join them and become a member of The Mob, please click the join button or you can click the membership tab right here on the channel for more information. If you guys would like to see some more awesome magic, please head over to my online magic shop at obrianmagic.com. And as always, if you enjoy these videos, please go ahead and click the subscribe button and ring the bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for the interruption. And now back to the video. All right, so for me, the golden rule when it comes to reinvesting your money is I really don't want to spend my own money on my magic business. I try to budget a portion of the money that I get paid for my gigs and whatnot to go into a separate account that I know that I can spend now on new magic props, new equipment, maybe there's a brand new uh, magic effect that you wanna add into your act, right? Recently, I did a video on, <laughs> I went on Amazon and I spent $100 on a suit. If you haven't already watched that video, I recommend you check it out, it's pretty funny. Um, but, you know, against my better judgment, I blew 100 bucks on this suit. Rather than investing more money in a nice suit, and it ended up being a waste of time, and it ended up being a waste of money and all of that good stuff. So uh, you definitely want to make sure that you're being smart when you spend your money. And rather than tightening my budget on the things that I need for my act and blowing more money on things that I don't need, it's better to just have that money there and ready for you to go. So in today's video, I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, some of the things that you might want to uh, save that money up for, right? And one of those things is magic props. What I want you to do right now is I want you to go through your magic props and I want you to look at things that you use often in your act. Are there wear and tear on these items? Are they falling apart, right? Are these magic props gonna hold up or are they hanging on by a thread, so to speak, when you go out to your next gig, is the next gig gonna be the one where that prop completely falls apart? right? Are you using a table where it's got a little crack in the bottom of it and are you, you know, going to perform on this table and have the whole thing topple over and snap in half, right? It's really, really important to take a look at your magic props and decide if you need to replace any of them or not. The next thing I would look into upgrading is your attire, your magic clothing, your suit that you're wearing, or your costume that you're wearing. Is this something that needs an upgrade? So for me recently, uh, like I said, I was in the market for a new suit. What I ended up doing was I walked into a suit broker and I ended up looking at a bunch of different suits. I picked out the one that I liked and I went ahead and bought the suit. Now. 
This was a lot of money because like I said, what I tried to do before was cheap out and see if I can get away with getting a, uh, a cheap suit online. But what I ended up doing instead was I went in and I purchased a new suit so I can look smart when I'm performing at my next event. You don't want to go in with a suit that has tears in it. Uh, maybe there's a giant hole in the crotch, right? Or, uh, you know, the pant leg cuffs. Maybe you've been stepping on them because the suit wasn't tailored properly and now the bottom is all ripped up and it's starting to rip up the side of your leg or any of that stuff. Are your clothes something that need to be replaced now? Next up is equipment, right? And I'm not talking about your props like your magic tricks or like your table. I'm talking about equipment, right? Uh, when you perform, do you use a microphone? Maybe that headset microphone that you've been using for so long, uh, it's dirty, it's falling apart, right? Maybe you need to upgrade to a new microphone, right? Or maybe um, you want to use some kind of new automated system to make uh, your act a little bit easier, uh, <laughs> you know, to play with. Like there's things out there that are automated. So if there's music cues, rather than getting a remote control and having to flip through and start the new cue, there are products out on the market that will automatically cue your music for you when you just simply pick something up off the table, for example. Are these enhancements into your equipment and things like this going to make your show better? Keep in mind, the better your show is, the more high-end gigs you're gonna be booking and the more money that you can charge. If you go into this with sound equipment that is faulty, it cuts in and out, your props are falling apart, your clothes are falling apart, it's not a very good look and this is not gonna get you booked for those higher end gigs. So let me know in the comment section below, what do you think that you need to uh, improve on when it comes to replacing props or maybe even buying new magic? Is there new magic on the horizon for you? Things that you've been thinking about buying but you haven't pulled the trigger on it because you can't afford them or what have you. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think and I'll see you in the next video.